Sheikh Hamoza the Lifestyle of the Queen of Qatar Sheikh Hamoza, the mother of Qatar's current emir and wife of former leader Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, is among the most elegant women in the world. The 63-year-old is also the modern face of one of the globe's most repressive regimes, which outlaws homosexuality and has, in the past, supported Islamist terrorist movements throughout the Middle East, including Hamas. Her Royal Highness Moza bint Nasser al misnid has devoted much of her public life to promoting education, but it's the Qatari royal's closet that has lately been in the spotlight as her country hosts the World Cup. The Guardian has described Moza as the enlightened face of a profoundly conservative regime. She's also been called the actual ruler of Qatar. Dark-eyed and regal, she is widely considered the favorite among her husband's wives. The couple has seven children, ranging in age from 31 to 44. Sheikha Moza was born in Qatar, but grew up in Egypt and Kuwait, where her father was living in exile as an opponent of the regime. She returned to Qatar in 1977, at age 18, to marry Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, a member of Qatar's royal family who eventually overthrew his own father in a bloodless coup in 1995. She is the second of his three wives. Sheikha Moza, far left, with two of her seven children, Sheikha Hind and Sheikh Jassim, at the opening ceremony of the 2022 World Cup in Doha on November 20, 2022. While women in Qatar are still subject to male guardian laws, meaning they cannot study, travel abroad, or hold a job without permission from male relatives, Sheikha Moza seemingly has a great deal of liberty especially with respect to travel and her clothes. Many attribute this to her status as not only the spouse of the former ruler, but also the mother of the current emir, Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Moza, who has been described as the Babe Paley of the Middle East, was named to the international best dressed list in 2015. She is famous for her much copied turbans, often paired with vintage personal sunglasses. An Instagram fan account, Sheikha Moza Fashion, breathlessly chronicles her outfits and has more than 214,000 followers. The Sheikha's fascination with fashion has also impacted business decisions. In 2010, the Qatari royal family purchased London's iconic Harrods department store for $1.7 billion two years later. They snapped up Italy's legendary Valentino fashion house for more than $857 million. The Sheikha visited Queen Elizabeth Liu at Windsor Castle in 2017. She met with Holland's Queen Maxima at The Hague in 2017. Actress Jody Turner-Smith, Wright, greeted the Sheikha at the Fashion Trust Arabia Prize in Doha in late October 2022. In addition to being a beautiful woman, she is very calm, she speaks in a low voice, and she knows what she wants, Brazilian designer Victor Zank told O Globo newspaper. She asked me for some modifications in the pieces she ordered. For those that had short sleeves, she asked for long sleeves, and for those that had a plunging neckline, she asked for a more discreet look. Indeed, Moza is known for her canny ability to adapt vintage Chanel pieces to suit Qatari modesty, and also embraces modern designs by John Paul Gaultier and Christian Dyer. It's my mental treat, Moza recently told Vogue Arabia. When I'm exhausted, I go to my dressing room and go through my closets, and I try to mix things and fix things. The Sheikha sports a bright orange abaya in Qatar just after the start of the 2022 World Cup. She also told the magazine that she doesn't have a stylist because I couldn't find anyone who understands what I want. During a state visit to Britain in 2014, Moza wore a Chanel coucher suit with icicle-heeled furry boots, prompting British designer Julian MacDonald to note that not since Jackie O has any first lady had such global resonance in terms of fashion. During that same 2014 visit to England, she wore a chrome green dire skirt suit to Parliament, a red Valentino gown to a banquet at Buckingham Palace, and a black and gold Armani Prive pantsuit to a meeting with British business leaders. On her last day at London, the Sheikha wore a burgundy double-breasted jacket handmade by John Paul Gaultier Studio and accessorized with Cartier jewelry. Moza is often photographed on trips to Paris and is a regular at coucher shows. 
Among her close friends is a socialite and former Brazilian model Bethy Lagardere, who was married to the late Jean-Luc Lagardere, the billionaire owner of Hachette, which published ELLE magazine around the world. Emir of Qatar to Miam bin Hamad Al Thani is the son of Sheikha Moza. She has a great interest in culture. Brazilian writer Nalita Pinan, who invited Moza to the exclusive Brazilian Academy of Letters in Rio de Janeiro, told The Post. She is an enchanting woman, very elegant, but also incredibly down to earth. You don't ever imagine that someone who is such an important woman is so easygoing. Rather than dine at a posh restaurant, Pinan said, Moza preferred a traditional comida porquilo in Rio, where food is served by the kilo and the service is almost entirely DIY. But not everyone is a fan. The Shika has been accused of manipulating her son's rise to the top and criticized for not focusing more on women's issues. Moza, meanwhile, has enjoyed freedom in her own education and has a Master of Arts in Public Policy in Islam from Hamad bin Khalifa University's Qatar Faculty of Islamic Studies, as well as a degree in sociology. She has been awarded honorary doctorates by Virginia Commonwealth University, Texas A and N University, Carnegie Mellon University, Imperial College London, and Georgetown University. The Sheikot exchanged gifts with Pope Francis during a visit to the Vatican in 2016. For years, she has worked to promote education reforms in her country through the Qatar Foundation for Education, Science and Community Development, a non-profit founded by her husband the year he became Emir. The group has recruited institutions such as Georgetown University and Weill Cornell Medical College to create Qatari campuses. The Shika was also named a UNESCO Special Envoy for Education in 2003 and was instrumental in establishing the country's Philharmonic. Most recently, she presided over the organization of Muriat art installations being unveiled in Qatar during the World Cup, which ends on December 18. Naturally, she chose an incredibly stylish and meaningful designer outfit for the tournament's opening ceremony, the custom Prada dress and winged chomet brooch that she also wore in 2010 when Qatar bid on hosting the World Cup. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.